Lizette LaForge from Beacon Windows, and today we're going to talk about very, very large doors. These doors are typically five and six foot pieces of glass. They generally come from the 50s and the 60s, and they're silver, and they're in these older homes, and a lot of people are concerned about having to replace them because they are very expensive. When you have to replace one of these very large doors, you also end up with many more panels. This is an 18 foot long door system that if you had to replace it would probably be now instead of three panels at least five and most people don't want that much interruption in their view. So let's talk about a little about what happens to these doors. This one as you're pushing it along it seems to get stuck and it just seems really you can't get it any further. So this can sometimes happen when the door is squeezed down upon or what we call impinged but in this case it's actually happening from something happening in the trap. Let's take a look here right here in this track and you can see down here there's some things in the way so when you try to move this door past you can't get past this special little old-fashioned rail piece that, that was added to these doors back in the 50s these pieces are no longer available and really not necessary there are new things that you can do to make this better and so we're going to do that and that is going to be a simple solution for this door So let's get back to the store and see how we do. It now moves quite easily. As you can see, it's a single portion. We're not stopping where we used to stop, and we can keep going all the way to the end. Now, when we took this door apart, we did notice the beginnings of impingement. Impingement meaning a squeeze play where it's a little challenging for the door to get past. That is not uncommon on something this long. This is 18 feet long. Even an eight foot door can sometimes be impinged. So I want to show you in this area what that kind of looks like. So if you ever start to see something like that happening, this can happen on doors of this age in homes of this age. This is very minor considering this is from the 1960s and it's not sufficient that we have to take any additional action on this particular door. So this is fine. We're able to adjust it with the motor system to still get the doors out. So impingement slight, but not enough to be a real wear. Okay. Other things that we did, if you look at this track, remember at the beginning, it was full of bumps and gouges, and now we have put a smooth cap rail on it, and we've glued and crimped that in place, so it's not gonna come up. And this will give us years of a nice smooth track. I mean, if you care for your, your rail like this, you can probably get 15 or 20 years, so that's good. And then we've also put in our weather stripping in the various areas that we showed you before. These are the various types of weather strippings that we have to use. And so whatever makes sense for the door is what we're going to be working with. And in this case, we ended up with three different styles uh, because we want to keep it from rattling, we want to keep it aligned, we want to keep it resistant. Because even though this happens to be a porch, it can be hotter out here than inside and we want to keep everything um, efficient. All right, so yes, this door was fixable. Yes, it took a little bit of work to get it there, but it's a fraction of the cost. It's like price of the tax on a new door system. So if you have questions, please feel free to reach out to us. You can catch us at sliderrepair.com. Take a look at the information at the end of this video and just reach out with your questions. Thanks.